Hi guys! So for those of you who have been followers of the channel or maybe even those of you who are new to the channel, hi my name is Natasha Cornyn. I am the hands behind the recipes and I love doing the tutorials for you guys. But something interesting in the news as of late in relation to the ketogenic diet, specifically the comments, the disparaging comments that have been made by celebrity fitness trainer Jillian Michaels of Biggest Loser Acclaim have really made me want to make a commentary style video so that's what I'm going to do today do something a little bit new let's see if you guys like it so let's get into what Miss Michaels is asserting in relation to the ketogenic diet and what the real tea is all about so what I figured we'd do is just go through I'd like to go through some of the comments that were made by Ms. Michaels in reference to the ketogenic diet because they're in such stark contrast to any research that I've been able to find, anything I've experienced myself on the ketogenic diet after two years and losing 75 plus pounds myself and having a great experience with insulin regulation, hormone regulation and a number of other things. People that are doing her model of weight loss you know, doing caloric deprivation and restriction and just working out, working out, and working out. We can only run so far on that hamster wheel. We can only run so far, which is why people just cannot have success on that style for the long term of weight loss and weight management. And not only that, it doesn't take into account the metabolic hormonal factors that are related to weight gain and weight loss and how that is so benefited by ketosis, metabolic ketosis being in a ketotic state and the ketogenic diet. So there are a lot of pieces that Ms. Michaels glazed over to, I guess in her, in her perspective, solidify her point of view and her eating style and everything that's aligned with her endorsements and her bag, which she seems to be a little bit um, concerned as being compromised because the ketogenic diet is the biggest thing on the mouths of everyone in the health community and those concerned with wellness. Why? Because it's established and because it works. So let's get into, into Ms. Michael's assertion about the diet being a fad. So okay, let's look at the definition of a fad. Literally, the definition of a fad is something that people are crazed over, obsessed over for a short term. It's baseless with no longevity or sustainability, you know, no, no power for the long term. So just by that, by the fundamental definition, the ketogenic cannot, diet cannot be a fad. The ketogenic diet, as, as I mentioned already, was established back in the 1920s. And there are numbers, studies upon studies upon studies, with different test groups documenting the multiple benefits of the ketogenic diet. Whether it's from mitigating the symptoms of epilepsy, to helping uh, people with Alzheimer's and dementia, and autism, disorders that are connected to the breakdown of communication in our neuro neurological pathways. The ketogenic diet stabilizes all that, you know, brings the body into, into, into balance with that, with our home, hormonal system, with our metabolic system. The ketogenic diet normalizes and balances all of that. So, you know, that's why it's been around for so long. It's, it's established and, and it's well known. Its efficacy is well known. So. For Ms. Michaels to assert that it's a fad by its definition and how long it's been established and successful, that doesn't fly. Now, another assertion of Ms. Jillian Michaels in relation to the ketogenic diet is that ketosis and the body being in a ketotic state is a state of emergency. Uh, the body you know, suffering some level of trauma and almost like her trying to insinuate that being in ketosis would be similar to a fight or flight where our body is under all this stress that's going to be inflammatory and cause oxidative stress, but nothing could be further from the truth. Nothing could be further from the truth. What actually causes oxidative stress is having large amounts of glucose, sugar, carbohydrates in the system, spiking glucose and, 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 and flooding the body with insulin that it cannot, cannot process and then breaking down the communication system between the liver and the pancreas to, to understand how much insulin you need in reference to how much you have and how much you're able to metabolize and utilize properly. So that's why when people are here eating so many carbohydrates during the day, eating so many carbohydrates, they become at many times insulin resistant. 
they're just flooding their body, flooding their system with unnecessary glucose. It's just, that's baseless. That's something like that being said is, is a baseless fad. Because if we know anything about physiology, and I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, but in just the basic research that I've done for my own education as someone who's living the ketogenic lifestyle, I do know that babies are in a ketotic state in utero, in the womb. As babies get nearer and nearer, nearer, as the embryo becomes closer and closer to the point of delivery, both unborn baby and mom start to produce higher levels of ketones and, and drop into a ketotic state more frequently. Um, and this is important, ketones are the building blocks of the development of the body and the brain and they're able to be used to, to build brain tissue, muscle tissue, and can actually cross the blood-brain barrier. And so ketones are at the center of, of building everything in the body that's needed to have proper development and function of all of our systems. What's more, babies are born in a state of ketosis, and if they're exclusively breastfed by mom, whose breast milk is naturally composed, naturally composed, our bodies aren't stupid. The breast milk is naturally composed to have a higher fat composition, moderate protein, low carb, to maintain a ketotic state in that foundational period of body, the baby's development and life, right after birth. And baby can stay in, an, in, in a ketotic state as long as mom is exclusively breastfeeding baby. Why would that be if it was a state of emergency that's unhealthy? I'll wait. See, what makes more sense is that ketosis is a part of the building blocks of our brain. Our every, every cell in the body, every system in the body is supported by a state of metabolic ketosis. Now, the body will burn carbohydrates for fuel quickly. As a matter of fact, preferably even in the presence of fat and ketones because it's a quick source of energy. For short-term boost of energy, it, 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 the body will do that. The body will do that. The body wants to do the least amount of work to get the effect that's desired and then resume all of its energy to, to maintaining the health of all the other body systems. Okay, so ketosis is a healthy state. It's a natural state. It's our primal state. And, and it's a state that is not only healthy, but a self-preservatory state because how do you think people survived? How do you think our ancestors survived in times prior to this artificial, all the time access life that we've created in our culture where we can order from Amazon and have things in an hour, order from any number of places and have things right at the ready, where there were times of feast and famine. There were times where we had surplus food and there were times where our bodies would have to, in order to survive, be able to drop down into a different metabolic state and access our body fat or whatever dietary fat we could access for fuel so that we could just survive. So if we just look back a couple, you know, a few generations, we'd realize that without our bodies being able to have that kind of metabolic flexibility to use both glucose and fat and ketones for fat sources as needed and per whatever was happening, happening in our environment, we wouldn't be able to survive. It's just a part of being adaptable. And I want to touch again on the comments, the, the completely baseless and incorrect comments that Ms. Michaels made in reference to the oxidative stress she claims the ketogenic diet causes because, again, I guess she thinks that all people eat on a ketogenic diet is meat, 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 and, and eating meat, high quality fatty grass fed meats, that is a part of the ketogenic diet, along with eating great um, foods like fish that are high in omega-3 fatty acids, flax seeds, chia seeds, hemp seeds, um, fatty fruits like avocado, delicious low-carb, low-glycemic fruits like berries, blackberries, raspberries, blueberries. There, there is a wide variety that we get to eat on a ketogenic diet to have a balanced intake while also keeping our glucose low, which is the thing that actually spikes oxidative stress and inflammation the most, it is the flooding of glucose in the body, insulin resistance, throwing off all your hormonal systems by slamming your body with all this sugar, 
and causing insulin uh, resistance and type 2, 2 diabetes. All these kinds of metabolic disorders that occur because of the way people eat on a standard American diet, on a Western diet where it's so carb heavy, refined carbohydrates, a lot of refined sugars in the diet. All those things cause inflammation and oxidation, not eating healthy fats. And to be honest, I, I really felt like I needed to come on and make a video about the misinformation that Jillian Michaels is distributing and disseminating in reference to the ketogenic diet because it's dangerous and it's harmful. This is a diet that can really help so many people, that has helped so many people, and this is documented for decades and decades going back, as I said, to the 1920s. Why, why put down and disparage a diet that she even herself had to admit helps with glucose regulation, helps to prevent insulin resistance, and helps with a number of other disorders where it mitigates the symptoms of those disorders without the need for any harsher, any harsh medication. Just doing it food-based lifestyle changes, removing carbohydrates, carbohydrate, removing carbohydrates and sugar and allowing the body to run on fat for fuel along with ketones. So it's disturbing to me that Ms. Michaels, who has such a broad and wide platform and the, the, the ear of so many people who may not have educated themselves in re regards to the ketogenic diet or metabolic ketosis or what that means and how it could benefit them or they've started to look into it but are now afraid of you know pursuing the, the protocol any further because Ms. Jillian Michaels has made a number of videos is in, and is on this entire campaign that's anti-keto for no reason based in medical fact or science, but for her own agenda of some sort. And you know, I hate to be, I don't like to be negative and think that there's always an undercurrent to things, but if in every way, Ms. Jillian Michaels is promoting a plan that's anti-keto, is recommending an eating plan where people are eating foods that are high in glucose and that's allowed to just keep doing that and spiking your glucose throughout the day and informing your body via the release of insulin into your bloodstream to store fat and fat cells rather than release fat while encouraging you to work out, work out, work out until you drop and then having you be frustrated because you can't get the results that you really want or like the majority of the contestants on The Biggest Loser, let us not forget, you gain the weight back because it's an unsustainable model. It's an unsustainable model to continue to calorie restrict, which will lower your basal metabolic rate, okay, and make it harder for you to lose weight in addition to everything else. So it's just, there's just so many reasons why the information that she's putting out right now is harmful and damaging, and it seems like it's just for the benefit of money and endorsements and sales of fat burners, which she now sells but used to say were the worst thing and didn't work and they, they were baseless just like the ketogenic diet before there was a deal involved and contracts involved. So I mean I, I always say to people question her, question me, question studies, read for yourself, look into things yourself. I'm going to put a number of studies down in the description box below in reference to the ketogenic diet, science and, and, and research studies that have been done on broad bases of people that demonstrate the efficacy of the ketogenic diet on a number of levels, whether it's you know being neuroprotective benefits, whether it's development of the brain, muscle tissue, uh, functions of the body, metabolism, hormonal system, your adrenal health, fertility, you know, people, women with amenorrhea, whether they haven't been able to get their period in long periods of time on the ketogenic diet. Can I speak? It's my first video on camera, guys. You have to forgive me. But on the ketogenic diet, going from having amenorrhea to their period resuming, to resuming the ability to conceive and having fertility health that they haven't seen in a while return. Because the body now feels safe enough for the conception of a baby for life to come forth because of the state of the body and its health produced in a ketotic state with the ketogenic diet.
So I encourage you guys to look into things for yourself, do the research for yourself. Don't trust any one source, but there are so many legitimate you know, people, practitioners in this space, people that will give you anecdotal information like myself and others who have gone through the process of living a ketogenic lifestyle and having tremendous results and benefits uh, with the lifestyle. So just do the research for yourself. Don't be swayed just by, you know, individuals in the media who happen to have a platform and are celebrities and famous and popular, but may have ulterior motives for why they're taking stances that they're taking that have nothing to do with the benefit of your health and well-being, okay? So all my beautiful people, until next time, you have a beautiful, blessed day, and keep it keto. See you soon.